Naxalism has gone down, Naxal violence has gone down by almost 77% in the last uh, decade or so. That's the government data. Data shared by Ministry of Home Affairs in the Parliament suggests that between 2013 and 2023, the number of incidents of Naxal violence in Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand and other parts of the country uh, have gone down drastically. If you see the incidents, the numbers of Naxal violence also, 2,213 was the number of cases that were reported in 2010. The number went down to 509 in 2021. Overall, the geographical spread of Naxal violence has also considerably reduced. 191 police stations of 46 districts reported Naxal-related incidents in 2021. This is compared uh, to 465 police stations in 96 districts in 2010. So if you see, the geographical spread is also coming down continuously. Jharkhand, in fact, has been declared Naxal-free after the recent uh, you know, operation that was carried out at Buda Pahar by CRPF and Jharkhand police, the entire state has been declared Naxal uh, violence free. Even in Chhattisgarh, the spread has been limited. Dantewada, uh, from where Home Minister is uh, flagging off his, his election campaign in Bastar, Dantewada was once an area where you couldn't really step in. But now, polit political rallies are being carried out in uh, Dantewada as well. Jagdalpur is the district headquarter. Home Minister went there in his earlier visit during CRPF raising day. Uh, Kanker, Dhamtiri, these were all, Rajranga, these were all areas which were affected by Naxal violence. But now, largely speaking, even within the Bastar division, it is Sukma and Bijapur largely and some areas of Dantewada which continue to be affected by Naxalism and Gadchiroli uh, in Maharashtra. But even there, Maharashtra police has done a good job to control the Naxal violence in Gadchiroli. So what does this really mean? What has this reduction in violence meant for local people, the tribals there? What it has meant in Sukma, in Bijapur, in parts of uh, Dantewada is that finally there is some resemblance of uh, government facilities in villages. As far as data that is uh, available, more than 6 lakh people in 600 villages have now been freed from CPI Maoist rule. This is the data shared by the state government also. So 600 villages have now finally, since independence for the first time, seen government facility reaching them. They're getting their Aadhaar card made. They're getting their ration card made, which means the government facilities about free ration is now finally reaching them. There are new Anganwaris which have come up. There is a better you know, infrastructure as far as school is concerned. Now, the interesting figures for schools as well. 300 schools which have been closed for over 13 years have been reoperationalized. This is again a data that has come in uh, from the state government. 377 English medium schools, 349 Hindi medium schools have been made functional. And uh, the, both the state and the central government are working in cohesion to ensure that not just school education, but higher education and then employment opportunities are created. Tribals who want to get into the security aspect uh, of, of uh, the forces, Bastaria Battalion has been created by CRPA for women who want to join the Central Security Forces. There is also the Bastar fighter that has been created by the state government. So there are employment opportunities as well. Now, how has this change really come about? How has violence gone down? What has really get, led to this situation? Uh, 43 new police camps, uh, new police stations have been set up in the last decade or so. 19 camps were set up by CRPF only in one year, from 2022 up until 2023. 19 camps have already been made operational. Six more are coming up uh, by the end of this year. And these camps are in crucial Naxal territory. One camp, uh, which CNN News 18 learns, is coming up uh, in at the tri-junction of uh, Maharashtra and Chhattisgarh. And, uh, and this will have joint forces from CRPF, Maharashtra Police, as well as Chhattisgarh. This camp is crucial because located near this camp is the so-called arms factory of CPI Maoists. This is where uh, they come up and, and they put together their rocket launchers, uh, they put together their, their rifles, etc. So if a camp comes up near their arms factory, it means that their supply chains will be affected. These camps which are coming up also make it easier for CRPF and Central Forces to launch their operations, to launch their security related operations. Most importantly, it gives the local villagers confidence that if they if they associate themselves with any government scheme they will not be targeted by naxals uh, what we are also told is that this presence of these camps has made it easy to create road infrastructure not just highways which have been made metal road but even interior road construction has now begun which means police can reach quickly if there is an incident 
collector, local government officials can reach quickly if there is an issue there. So together, it seems there is a complete change that is being brought about. That figure is important, 77% uh, reduction in Naxal violence in the last one decade. And the government is confident that very soon, India will be free of the Naxal menace.